I'm not a data privacy expert by any means, but I know that if you want to keep your data, part of what's inherent in data privacy is good data management. If you do not manage the data correctly and securely, then you will abuse the privacy trust of your users and your relationships and those the results of that are all over the headlines. Those are the kinds of bad headlines that brands get. A really good way to help destroy your brand is to not guard your data correctly. And a lot of that, while some of it is highly technical about system access, some of it is also based on making sure the data is truly managed and governed in the right way. Do we have unique identifiers? Do we have... Have we reduced duplicates? Do we know who can look at what, when? All of that is executed through having a really strong data structure that's supported by whatever operational systems holding that data. And I've worked in, you know, I, and, and I, I tend to work, my background in terms of where I worked in data companies was always with, data that was about things that people wanted to know. So company data, folks talk a lot about PII, personally identifiable information. I never delved into that people data part. I probably worked in something I would call CII, commercially identifiable information. So there, the data that was part of the companies that I represented that was data about things that people, that those things wanted to communicate about. For instance, at Nielsen, I worked at a database that was about supermarkets. Every supermarket wants everybody to know about all their locations. So that was nothing hidden there. But you still need to guard against making sure the right data goes to the right place and the wrong people don't see the wrong, you know, data that they shouldn't. And all of that is data management has a seat in that table. And if it doesn't, you're probably having problems.